بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello students assalam alaikum this is me janain mumin your teacher i have brought a new lecture for you today for the today's class so we have discussed sentence and the basic structure of the sentence okay we have discussed sentence and its basic structure in our last class i think 7 or 6 months ago yeah, i remain busy i could not bring a lecture for you guys right now i have brought a lecture for you guys so today we are going to discuss about verb what do you know about verb yes it is the action yes very good okay go come okay these all are the verbs what else can we know about the verb so the first question arises in our mind is that what is verb so verbs are words that show an action means you can have example like sink occurrence the example is develop or a state of being existence your existence your condition the state of being is related to your condition your position your characteristic your illness your relation okay so in other word we can say that uh, it is a word which shows an action or a state let's have a look at another slide importance of verb almost every sentence requires a verb this is a very important part can you see a bird here what is he doing you can easily understand he is reading okay he is reading a book so what is he doing reading what is the action reading is the action okay is going on the action is in the continuity form in a simple sentence we can say it he reads okay what is the action here read so without the verb we cannot make sentence what do we have without sentence he is we cannot make sentence so verb creates a sense in the sentence a verb gives you a meaning in any sentence without verb we cannot have meaning we cannot have sense okay so look at this the basic form of a verb is known as its infinitive what is infinitive we will discuss in our another session in our next class so you can easily understand you can know that what is infinitive by means of the example the forms call this is the first form base form of verb love break and go are all infinitives okay yes almost every sentence requires a verb okay it is a point to be remembered okay it is a very important thing to be remembered okay then we have forms of verb we have different forms of verb which we use in different tenses like we have the first form you can see present form you can also say first form you can say it present form and you can also say it the first form and you have the past form you can say it the second form of verb then we have past participle form you can say it the third form of verb then we have present participle form you can say it the fourth form of verb okay ing form of verb you can have a look at the first verb what is the first verb go okay go is the first form of verb what is its past form or second form went look at its third form go look at its ing form going look at second number of verb what is the second number its come what is its second form can look at its third form come ing form coming look at what is the another verb here give gav give giving take took taken taking eat at eat eating okay these are the forms of verb which we use in different tenses yes verb what does verb show you can see it shows an action state time what are the actions you can see action verb you can see go come play do what is the time we also understand the tense with the help of verb what is the time of the tense okay with the help of verb you can see it here go we use in present time went we use in past time gone we use in the perfect tense in any time like present time past time future time and going we use in the continuous form of tense these are the different forms of verb which show different periods of time say it for is am are was were will be have been has been had been 
Let's make some imperative sentences with the help of verb. What is imperative? Before making imperative sentence, we should know about the imperative. What is imperative? We use imperative sentence for giving an order, command or instruction and we also use it to make request. Before looking at the sentences, we need to know about its structure. What is its structure? Verb, well, first form plus object slash adverbial. Okay, this is the structure of the imperative sentence. So look at the examples go out so look at the another example sit down example number four stop speaking number five stop it number six please give me a favor okay number seven please give me a pan number eight open the door number nine switch on the fan number ten switch off the fan all these sentences we need to have a verb you can see that verb has a prominent figure in language. Without verb, we cannot make language. We cannot make our conversation. We cannot say sentence. We cannot have meaning. If we say any sentence without verb, we cannot have the meaning. So verbs are the important part, important element in any language especially in english language without verb we cannot have sense we cannot communicate okay when you don't understand what am i saying to you what is he saying to you what does he mean to say so how do you communicate okay how do you understand and communicate so what are very important in the language okay so this is for the today's class we have learned verb okay what is verb we understand that we got that we learned that it shows an action or a state and time we have also learned how many forms of verb are there we learned that there are four forms of verb like first form second form third form and fourth form okay and what else we have studied we have studied imperative sentences okay uh, the structure of imperative sentence you can see verb first form plus object adverbial okay thanks for watching my video and you guys are very appreciating me i need your appreciation and support please like my video and subscribe my channel for more latest updates and for more videos thank you guys assalamu alaikum